Let me start by congratulating every student who has opted for a bachelor's in chemistry. B.Sc. Chemistry or B.Tech Chemical Engineering is an amazing field. In fact, if you see around, if you look around from the eyes of chemistry, you'll realize that everything is chemistry. Right from the buildings, the paint, to anything which exists today, generated by the industry, is more or less chemistry. Everything has a chemistry. So the faster you fall in love with chemistry, the faster you can grow. But, you know, you can't really fall in love with chemistry if you don't know what next after BSc Chemistry. What are the industries where you can be absorbed if you do bachelor's and master's in chemistry? Now, it's not necessary to do a master's. If you do a master's, of course, it helps. But let me tell you seven thrilling areas, excellent areas, exciting areas where you can get into. Now, let's start with the number one and which is the biggest in this world and that is chemical manufacturing. Chemicals are consumed everywhere from lab to houses. Even if you, you are using floor cleaner, that's chem chemical, right? Anything and everything is chemical, right? Now that is where you can get absorbed into chemical manufacturing industries and those industries are actively always looking for graduates and postgraduates in chemistry who can work and help them grow their company. So chemical manufacturing is one big area, the biggest of all, where you can get in. But you know, when you get into chemical manufacturing, that's more of a worker role. So it's not an innovation role, it's just an automation role. But of course, you may want, okay, I don't want to be just a worker, I want to grow as a scientist. So if you want to grow as a scientist, then the second part is very important and that is research and development. So you see, chemical industry, chemical manufacturing industry is what? You just go in and you manufacture, you just uh, do a repetitive task. But when you do research and development, What's happening there? You are doing something for the first time. For example, you are mixing two chemicals and looking at the chemical reaction and what atoms are mixing and creating bonds and you know tr trying to create new types of polymers or trying to create a new type of material at you know uh, organometallic compound uh, or you know that's a very thrilling area. So research and development is second area. It's a bit tough. Gen generally, students who have a master's and a PhD get in, but yeah, with a bachelor's also we can get in. So this is second thrilling area. The third one is QA, QC, quality control, quality assurance in pharma as well as biotech industry. You see, quality control is a random check thing. You go into a process and randomly check, okay, what are the changes needs to be done? What exactly is happening? Is the quality being maintained? Where the anomalies are and then you try to fix the process. So QA, QC is a very big uh, it plays a big role in pharma and biotech sector as well as chemical manufacturing sector. So QA, QC is something which you can get in. Let's jump on to the next one which is environmental and sustainability roles. So like I said, everything is chemical. So a lot of chemicals are going into the water bodies. A lot of chemicals are going into various uh, parts of, uh, you know, which, are, which is threatening the ecosystem, the nature. So you can create solutions which will help in protection of the environment also create uh, eco-friendly chemicals which will help in sustainability roles. For example, there is Holi. So Holi is a festival in India where we uh, you know, put colors on each other's cheek. So now this particular chemical, if it is harmful to the skin or if it is going into the water bodies and killing the uh, fishes and the aqua marine environment, so we have to create a chemical which is eco-friendly. So that is where environmental and sustainability roles also you can play a suitable role, a very crucial role. The next one is, like I said, pharmaceutical and biotech industry. Now, pharmaceutical and biotech industry is the sustenance of humanity. If pharmaceutical industry was not there, biotech industry was not there, today we would not have come out of COVID. But majority, like 99% of the pharmaceutical industry is nothing but chemicals. So you can play various roles. You can be uh, into the product manufacturing, you can be into the formulation development, you can be into the R&D, that is research and development, you can be in QAQC, you can play multiple roles in marketing, sales, as well as research and development, formulation development, and a lot of things. So this is a great opportunity for all of you. The next one which I have is analytical chemistry. So you 
jump in you do some research on analytical chemistry and you can start analyzing chemicals and reagents and give your feedback where it is going wrong what exactly is the co constituent and you can further analyze it and give data uh, related to that and further research on it with the help of ai which is artificial intelligence so that's a future job and thrilling job you can apply and get in the last and not the least is for those who want a comfortable job respectable job at the, at the same time balance family life and professional life and also earn a lot of money well that is called teaching in academia you can be a teacher in school or colleges or universities and side by side you can also do your own research and publish papers so this is where the entire universe of chemical sciences i condensed into one video but my point of view here if you ask me is sky is the limit these are just the industries of today the industries of today tomorrow will be driven by artificial intelligence machine learning and data driven so you should do and perform cross uh, interdisciplinary subjects you should uh, learn computers with chemistry and combine both of them and probably make a career in chem informatics and stuff like that because that is going to be the future of our chemical sciences industry and these will have applications in every part of this world whether it is it is quantum chemistry computational chemistry as well as uh, chem informatics these are the three future fields which you can opt for so that's all for today's video i hope you liked it comment below whatever you, is your question and let's come together to create a glorious future for you in chemistry thank you so much for watching this video on rasayanika take care bye bye